is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I was assigned to the Pentagon the day 9-11 happened. It was very obvious, sitting there at, at dead center, that the world had changed. We in the military used to like away games. We liked our wars over there. Suddenly, we had a home game and things had to change. A few days later, I was appointed to be head of the Navy's anti-terrorism unit. And shortly after that, I was on the ground in Afghanistan, flying in with a fellow from the CIA with a suitcase filled with millions of dollars. I wanted the best insurance, the best intelligence. But I felt I always had that because I'd worked at the National Security Council, where in counterproliferation and anti-terrorism efforts there, I was able to see that whether it had been President Reagan, President Clinton, President, first President Bush, FISA provided that ability. I like this bill. It is very similar to the Senate bill. If someone in Saudi Arabia is talking to someone in Germany and it routes to the United States, we can listen in without asking questions. I remember being in the White House and being frustrated because if somebody was doing proliferation of weapons of mass destruction, we couldn't under FISA get a warrant for them. This bill fixes that. And then I step back and emergencies. This bill fixes it in an emergency situation that you don't even have to ask permission. You can just do it, and it extends from three days of having to come to the court till seven days, and then even if the court takes another 30 days, keep listening. Thank you for that. But the real differences come down to what I think is important, because every day I was out there for 31 years in the military, I wasn't just fighting an enemy or trying to deter him. I was fighting for an ideal, the ideal of which America is founded upon, the rights of civil rights. And therefore, I honestly believe what we've done in the telecommunication companies and discussing immunity should be done by the proper branch of government, the judicial branch, a court, the FISA court. Then, if everything was not awry, then, as the provisions of law give me 15 sec 20 seconds. Additional 30 seconds. Then we can say, seconds. under the provisions of the previous law, they have immunity. And then I'd like to also point out that it is very important to me that we have oversight and reports that are coming, and they must come to the FISA court to explain the procedures they will follow. That type of oversight is what I followed for. In short, I will never forget being over there again in charge of my carrier battle group, fighting in Afghanistan, that what I was fighting for was security number one, properly balanced with civil rights, and this bill does do that. I wouldn't vote for it any other way unless it did. Thank you. Gentleman yields back his time. Gentleman from